Okay, so the project that we have today is a celebrating car using the plot. Um, we have three steps, we'll do it in three steps. We'll load the data, we'll, then we'll train the data, and third, we will visualize it. So very quickly, let me I'll take you to the code of what we have done. Before doing anything else, we need to import the libraries first. First, we have uh, let me load the data here. And first, we have CV2. What does CV2 does? It helps in solving computer vision problems. It helps in image processing and all that. And this is a newer version CV2. Before we had CV. Uh, CV is by default inside CV2. Here. Now we have moving on. We have NumPy. Uh, what does NumPy does is it helps in working with uh, arrays. It has functions that helps in uh, working with matrices and linear algebra and all that. Okay, moving on. CSV. What is CSV? CSV helps in reading CSV files. Simple. CSV. Now you will ask what is CSV? Full form CSV means comma separated value file. Excel files. Okay, pickle. What does pickle do? Pickle converts Python objects into byte streams because the computer doesn't know what an image is. So we need to convert everything into bytes, zeros and ones. Now moving on, we have matplotlib. Matplotlib is a plotting library for Python language and also it's extension numpy. It is a plotting library. It helps in plotting and all that. Now we are loading the data here. We have feature directory that has a, that has a folder named data. We have uh, label files. Uh, Inside data, we have the CSV file driving log CSV. Now we are pre-processing the image here. Now we are resizing the image. Now, why do we pre-process -pre image? It is enhance the image in every possible way, like brightness, color, and all that, to so that we can minimize the distortions and we can get better values, better accuracy, and all that stuff. Here we are resizing the image. We are say changing, converting the color from. Uh, RGB to HSV, RGB means red, green and blue and HSV means hue, saturation and value. In very layman terms, it means brightness. In 40 and 40 are the special dimensions. It is height and width. And we are returning the resized image. Here we are loading the data. We are reading the CSV file here. And now what does log? pop zero function does pop zero what it does is it pops the first element from the list that is what it does now here we are giving the image path here feature directory we have what is inside feature directory we have the data folder and inside data folder we have the image folder here image folder we have this image folder with images that we collected from the training lab in udacity also this csv file we got this csv file from the training lab i mean it is all the Staring angles and all that. Desired staring angles. Our aim will be to predict the staring angles. And if our model is able to predict those staring angles perfectly, it means great job done, great success. That is what our motive is to predict those staring angles based on those images as closely as possible. Yeah. So we are giving the image path and we are using the split function. What the split function does is it uh, splits the path into portions of head and tail. And the stripe function, uh, strip function here will uh, uh, get rid of white spaces that are leading and also after the characters. So this will return a string without the white spaces. So we are plotting the image here and now here delta means duration okay we are now flow 30 to flow 30 is a 32 bit floating point number okay now and what does pickle dumb does it you know what pickle does is it serializes python object hierarchy into uh, bytes right so Pickle dump returns those byte objects of those serialized objects. It returns those values. So this is what pickle dump does. So we are done with the loading part. Now we'll move to the training part. Very quickly, come on. What is sklearn? Sklearn means cycle learn. It is um, it's very efficient for predictive data analysis. It helps in clustering and all that stuff. 
this is very important now train test split train test split what it does is it helps in splitting the data into training and testing now shuffle what the shuffle does it, it takes a sequence and it shuffles and it gives and it shuffles the data and it provides the shuffle data set it, it won't produce a new data set it will just produce a shuffled data set that is what it does what is keras keras is a deep learning api that is learning uh, that is uh, that runs on top of tensorflow now what's the difference between tensorflow and keras keras is a deep learning api and keras uh, tensorflow is an open source api and tensorflow has both uh, high level apis and low level apis but keras only has high level apis moving on we have in, uh, import input what does input does is import instantiates keras tensor okay i'll explain everything in the code here okay so let's move on model sequential what does sequential does it helps in stacking the layers of the network in order of input to output helps us stacking the layers sequentially so that is what it does so moving on we have we have what is going on here this is interesting here we are normalizing the image because grayscale image what it hap what happens in, in grayscale image the uh, pixel values ranges from 0 to 50 it's a lot of values and it, take, it, it takes time and it takes it eats up space so we are normalizing the image by uh, bringing those values by reducing the number of values in the range of and bringing those values in the range of minus 1 to 1 so we are dividing the actual image by 127.5 and my subtracting it by 1. 127.5 is the mean of the maximum range. That is where we got this from. Our input size is the 40, 41 and height width and uh, breadth, width and height. Yes. And con 2D means a convolutional 2D layer and it has 32 here means 32 filters. It will, it means the image will run from 32 filters in this in this layer here yeah, it will learn from 64 filters and all that and 3 by 3 3 and 3 is the pool size now what is padding padding means that would have padding padding same and padding valid padding same means padding will be applied to the image to make it be, maybe before or after maybe to front or back to make it fit the uh, filters perfectly and padding valid means dimensions are already valid and we don't need to apply any filter uh, don't need to apply any padding to make the image fit it already fits the filter perfectly that is what it is so again it's got 62 or 64 means 64 filters what does max pulling does it does is it downscales both the downscales uh, the special dimensions the 2d special dimensions like like the uh, height not the height breadth and this length and breadth so it downscales them so here 2 by 2 means it is the factor by which it will be downscaled here 2 means 2 by 2 means it will be halved so the image won't uh, lose any information but it will be half in size it will be half from both the side both the both the dimensions like so all the information will be intact but it will be reduced in size to make the process faster and so that it consumes less data, uh, less space. Now, what does flatten does? Flatten what it does is it converts 2D function or 2D data to converts data from two dimensional to one dimensional. And dropout helps in preventing overfitting. This is what dropout function does. Now, what is dense? Dense layer. What it does is it takes output from one layer and it provides those output as inputs to the next layer in this in the network. Here, dense 128 means it it takes output from 128 neurons from the previous layer and it will provide it to the next layer. Okay, moving on, we have Adam optimizer. Adam is an optimizer that helps in reducing loss and all that stuff. And loss MSC means MSC means mean squared error. It is a loss function that is used very commonly. File path autopilot as file. We have saved the model. We have named the model autopilot and we have saved it as a Keras. We have given it an, a given it a Keras extension. H5 is a Keras extension that is used for storing structured data. Okay. Now we are loading from the pickle. 
ओलोडिंग टिपिकल डेटा या सिंपल आर बी रीड बाइनरी आर बी मीन्स रीड बाइनरी ऑगमेंटिंग डेटा या ओके नाउ ये वी आर इनटू द मेन पार्ट वी आर ट्रांसप्लेटिंग द डेटा इनटू टेस्टिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग टेस्ट साइज विल बी 0.25 इट मींस 25 परसेंट ऑफ द डेटा विल बी यूज्ड फॉर टेस्टिंग एंड 20 परसेंट ऑफ द एंड 75 परसेंट ऑफ द डेटा 5 परसेंट ऑफ द डेटा विल बी यूज्ड फॉर ट्रेनिंग रैंडम स्टेट इज गिवन इज असाइंड जीरो बिकॉज़ इफ वी डोंट असाइन अ प्रॉप ए फिक्स रैंडम स्टेट एवरी टाइम वी रन द कोड देयर विल बी डिफरेंट वैल्यूज फॉर द ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा सो टू keep it as fixed value we assign a proper random state okay moving on here very important epoch epoch we have taken as five it means the number of iterations the number of times the data will pass through the code so that it can run from it, it that is what epoch means and batch 64 means 64 samples from the test training data will be used to calculate the error gradient So it is what batch sixty four is, and then we have saved the model. We have given, and then we have saved the model. So next we will drive. It's a drive. All we need to do is drive it autonomous. Now what does Keras predict? Does it predicts the? It makes predictions and uh, validates if it is correct or not. Now. what what predictions that it may does it make in our case of course the steering angles if we are able to predict the steering angles correctly for model then it's a, it's a good it's a great success okay so yeah here yeah, we are uh, processing the image here and we are returning the steering angles from those images again same going on here there is process image then we are importing the steering wheel image image of the steering wheel now we will play the video run video i mean this okay let me first show you the results then i'll explain what is going on okay you can see now we'll ask you guys are running a video how is it self driving no we compile this video this video it has been compiled from same images that we got after the training so this is a frame by frame this video is made by frame is made from frame by frame from those images this is like a slide show of those images okay and our model is exactly predicting the steering angles here at the st the steering angles that a car is turning in in the video it means our model is able to predict the steering angles exactly and look here the steering wheel this is not a video the steering wheel is just an image and our model is able to rotate the steering wheel in exactly the same exact at exactly the same angles as predicted by the model hence how model is able to self drive the steering wheel so that is it thank you so much